So, welcome guys to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Skyrender. So, right, I'm going against Yahweh Mewal again. Yeah, it wasn't too too long ago I actually got it up against him, but it was during my Yu-Yu week. So, I kind of said, because I'm going against like my 100th battle soon, pretty much tomorrow, uh, I wanted to honor at least Mewal for being like a, such a good sport for such a long time. Uh, at least since December when we both started up Pocketube into, um, well... Obviously, doing a battle with him because that's like the least I can do, and it still seems kind of fitting. Considering when we started a battle, there were no tears, and uh, well, now he's a really good OU uh, and UU player, and he does really well too in RU and NU. I, I won't get around around that, so it's kind of fitting that ended with the lowest tears that I'm actually I am accustomed to. So yeah, I haven't switched around my team too much here. I usually carry custom instead of on my star Alpha Septile Magmortar. Remember the name this time. Uh, Hiriyama with the Salt Vest and Masquerade is around. He's going to use Miss Magus, which is going to be a huge threat to my team. Um, Torterra, which can really, really be very bulky. War Turtle, I don't know, Rapid Spin, Toxic, right? Um, Embor, which is going to be Choice Band and hit a lot. And Archaeops and Electabuzz. Other than that, I mean, I do expect him to uh, start off with the Electabuzz. So I'm just going to do whatever it is in my power to actually utilize that and, you know, try to take advantage of it really. So I was really thinking I was smart here. I, like I said, Electabuzz was coming in, so I thought, bring Caracosta, go for the Shell Smash right, because it's going to Bolt Switch out, see that from a mile away. Uh, and sorry for the like bad angle too on uh, my HP there. <laughs> At least the picture is good, right? Nevertheless, I get the weakness policy off, and uh, plus the Shell Smash there, which comes up with. He's gonna bring the War Turtle, and it just hit me that he can go for whatever he likes and take me out. I can't one-shot this guy. I mean, I go go for a knockoff, but I mean, I do. What is that? 75% maybe, and he'll take me out. So I pretty much just waste my Caracosta for nothing. So really bad and dumb play of me. So anyway, I bring out Lisa here. Just go for an Energy Ball. I don't want to give that away that I have Leaf Storm. So I'm gonna fret or hope that he goes for Embo. So I'm gonna bring out my Nos Dusknor Alpha to take the Flare Blitz or hopefully the Super Power. Uh, he goes for Flare Blitz, I mean, I guess that's fine. Does around 4%, I did not expect that, which tells me it's probably Choice Bandit. I could be wrong on that, but I mean, I have 400 defenses in level 100, and no way. So anyway, I'm just gonna go for Pain Split here, try to recover some damage. I mean, that barely moves, right? So yeah, I was kind of betting on him going for another Flare Blitz. I did want to try to wear him down. Snake, uh, <laughs> Shadow Sneak will do um, a lot of damage there, and uh, Shadow Ball almost takes me out. But now he is in a position where he can't really attack me anymore, so he's gonna decide to switch out. And I do remember myself going for another Shadow Sneak, yeah. And that won't do too much. <laughs> so yeah, at least I tried, right? So anyway, I'm betting on him go for another play of this. I'm just gonna bring in my Mag Mortar. Uh, because it is somewhat bulky and can take the damage. I mean, not well, but can take it. So here I was kind of betting on him going for anything else or trying to stay in. So I was going for an Earthquake and uh, yeah, awesome. <laughs> so yeah, now obviously in a bad position. So luckily for me, the Stone Edge doesn't take me out. He's going to decide to switch out and bring in his Embor. And it will actually die from a Specs Leaf Storm here. Did not expect that. But then again, I mean, Sceptile is really, really strong. I mean... No way you can actually dealt with it. So anyway, I did expect Torterra to maybe go for Stealth Rock here, but decided to just go for an Earthquake, and I actually survived with 1 HP. <laughs> so you guys can see it, but I survived with 1 HP. So I'm just gonna go for a Pain Split, knowing I'm faster. He'll bring Electabuzz, and I mean, I'm glad with that. Around 40% again, and with the Leftovers, I'm around 50 at best. So he's going to go for Shadow Sneak, I mean now the Electabuzz is definitely like somewhat useless here. And the Volt Switch will almost take me out, I mean it does really fair damage. And I can't really do anything against Archeops. And I not, don't have anything to, uh, you know, come into it anymore, so I'm just going to go for a Shadow Sneak. Obviously because I don't want to risk it with the... Um, end of my poke getting a Stone Edge or anything like that. Going to my Grecta, I did better on him and actually switch out, so I'm just going to go for Flare Blitz instead of Thunderbolt. And Flare Blitz. Lava Plume, obviously, sorry. <laughs> it takes Miss Mayus out, obviously. And I was betting on the um, burn here. I mean, I had no reason to switch out anymore. Yeah. 
I, I'm never this lucky with Stone Edge. It's it's horrendous, really. <laughs> so, Master Ring coming in here. Uh, you're gonna intimidate, obviously, what's in, aren't gonna matter. I know this thing isn't um, scarfed anymore, or maybe it could be banded. So, I'm just gonna go for a Quiver Dance there and getting a, a Scold off here. <laughs> really glad I pulled that one off. And so the only thing we got left is Torterra and Electabuzz, and Torterra can't take an Ice Beam. I was kind of fearing this guy might have uh, either Weakness Policy or Sash. So really glad I can take that one out. And Electabuzz won't be able to stop this and going to be one-shotted from... Well, not one-shotted, but it's going to be taken out by the <laughs> Bug Bus here. So yeah, Masquerade is pulling through yet again. I mean, this poke is... He has been working so well together with Star, just breaking things, really. So, uh, yeah, it was actually kind of a hard battle because, as you saw, Miwal definitely pressured me a lot there. And I got this pick. I mean, I gotta use it. I did not expect to leave Storm to take out that M4 from that range, but obviously it did. And I might be um, overestimating uh, M4 somewhat, I guess. Um, you know, guys, check out me well. I mean, he's like one of my best friends here on YouTube. He's doing the great stuff in his channel. It's worth checking out. <laughs> and other than that, I mean, he's around the Pimp Night chat at the moment. So um, I think most of you guys just already know him. And what else is it to say? It's my 100th battle tomorrow. And it's going to be huge. It's going to be a really, really good battle that I had against a guy that I think quite a few, quite a few... Quite a lot of you, sorry, are accustomed to or know about. So it's, it's going to be an honor, honor battling him, and I think you guys are going to enjoy that battle too because it was a really good one. It comes down very, very, very narrowed. So guys, see you tomorrow. Right? Bye.